what's going on guys it's jay mass and i'm back again with another dope new england adventure hey uh, guys does my hair look any different at all you know maybe a little wet right now well that's because i actually just took a shower before filming and by i took a shower i mean i was hiking up a mountain in rural vermont during downpouring rain <laughs> so yeah i am soaking wet right now it's a very rainy day it's going to continue to be a rainy day luckily right now it's uh just a bit of sprinkling but it was downpouring earlier as i was hiking up a mountain um, but it is what it is. I still want to film and I still want to show you guys today's exploration. So I'm currently in a small rural town called Royalton up here in Vermont, Royalton, Vermont. And this is by far one of the coolest abandoned sites I've ever explored on this channel. This is a place I've really wanted to come for years. I've been aware of this for quite some time now and I finally made it. And a lot of you urban explorers from New England are probably going to recognize this spot. This is the infamous Jamie Mansell Dome House better known as the JME House, located here in Royalton, Vermont. Now check this out. This is a DIY house built by a YouTuber named Jamie Mansell. He founded this house in the late 2000s. I believe it was around 2007 or 2008, with 2008 being the very first year he actually resided here. Again, this is a fully DIY house in the middle of the woods here in Royalton, Vermont. His whole goal was to live off the grid, be self-sufficient by himself. And again, I did mention he was a YouTuber. Jamie Manzel has a YouTube channel called Jamie Stuff. He's actually still posting there today. But during this period where he was working on this house and living here, he actually filmed it. There's a lot of videos on his channel, older videos, of course, around the uh, late 2000s, early 2010s, where he was living here, working on it, building it. And he actually left it to the public, eventually leaving it in 2013. So. This is a fully public house. Anyone can come here, anyone can explore. In fact, when you walk in, there's a guest book for you to sign your name. So Jamie Manzel, upon leaving in 2013, left it to the public to enjoy. So I ask if you do come here, be respectful. I'm gonna be respectful, but I'm really excited to just get into it and explore the Jamie Mansell Dome House here in the rural town of Royalton, Vermont. I've really wanted to come here for years. And even though there's a lot of rain today, like right now, I'm not gonna let that stop me. And once again, guys, I am joined by Noah Faraday. I've collaborated with him twice on the channel. He's a really cool guy. He's a paranormal investigator and an urban explorer. He has his own YouTube channel called Noah Faraday. He also has an Instagram and a TikTok called Noah Faraday. He's a cool guy. Again, we've collaborated twice. This is our third collaboration. And what are your thoughts so far about this place? What are you, what are you hoping to see today? I'm really hoping to jump on a trampoline and yes. hopefully <laughs> don't die. I don't want to so. die. I hope so. And hopefully you don't get struck by lightning today. I know, right? But yeah, definitely check out Noah Faraday's content on his YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Really cool guy. I'm excited to explore the Jamie Mansell Dome House here in Royalton, Vermont with him. Well, let's get started. Let's do it. Woo! Woo! All right, guys, let's get started and explore this Jamie Mansell Dome House or the JME House here in the town of Royalton, Vermont. This is a place I've wanted to come for years. I know Noah's wanted to come here for years. Dude, I am beyond hyped. Oh, I'm excited. I am beyond hyped. All right, let's check it out. Pretty cool. Uh, one thing right off the bat you'll see is there's a ton of uh, painting on the front. Like, not even really graffiti. You just got some flowers. It's got some nice colors, yellow, green. Let's see what's inside. Noah's going to enter inside, and I'll take a peek. Welcome to my home. Be kind. Please sign guest book. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Welcome to my home. So I did briefly allude to this in the intro. This is a public site. Anyone can come here. You can see they welcome hikers and urban explorers to come here. What's that? Solar Empire games for Windows. Damn, that's an old disc. What, what year is yeah. that from? Uh, looks like 2009. 2009. Yeah. Okay, so that relates to the timeline because this house was built in the late 2000s. So it looks like... This bike powered the whole building. Yep. So there'd be lights everywhere. I think, yeah, it leads right here. Yeah, you can see wires everywhere. All around. <laughs> Almost looks kind of like a fire hazard, if I'm being honest. Right. But there, yeah, there's uh, wires everywhere because these wires connected to this bike. And when you power this bike, I don't know if it provides lighting or heat or whatever, but basically when you power that bike, it um, powers the electricity and the wires. Here's Again, this is a fully DIY house. Yeah. Super cool. 
So this is something I'm really excited to check out. I'm gonna sneak around, you know. Check this out, guys. This is the guest book. Anyone can sign this, anyone who comes here. It's pretty cool. I kind of briefly looked through this earlier, but you have stuff, a lot of stuff from 2023 here. Yeah, 2023. I don't really see any 2024s, to be honest. But I think I gotta sign my own name. Let's do that. So you guys can see right here, I had to, of course, sign my own autograph on the guest book. I was here June 2024. You can follow me on YouTube at JMass, of course. Uh, subscribe. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys end up coming to this house here in Royalton, Vermont, and you see this, let me know on Instagram, at JMassOfficial. I'd be interested to see if any of you guys, any of my viewers, see this in person. All right, let's keep digging around right now. I'm really interested to see what this room has to offer. So obviously there's a lot of furniture, got a chair, some sort of little bin right here. And then there's just gonna be debris everywhere. I'm gonna try not to spend too much time looking at all the debris, but there are some things I wanna focus on. <laughs> Beautiful pace. I think the guy forgot a letter. Can I get an L please? Beautiful place, I think that's what he meant. All right, this thing I wanna show you guys, this is really cool and Noah pointed this out to me earlier. So this I believe is actually a note from Jamie Mansell himself. Again, the founder of this house. Kaylee, Josh, Tyler, be good. Check out Jamie Builds on YouTube. He made this place what it is. Let's bring it back to life. Pack your trash. Pack some of it if you can. Let's leave this place better than it was when you get here. Okay, so maybe that wasn't Jamie, but I'm not sure who wrote that. But basically, whoever it is, they're basically saying to keep this place clean, be respectful, be kind, and where it says Kaylee, Josh, Tyler, be good. Uh, one thing I did not yet mention is that Jamie Mansell lived here with his wife and two children. So he wasn't living here by himself. He lived here with his wife and two children. So four people lived full time in this DIY off the grid house. Really interesting stuff. I couldn't even imagine living here with a wife and children, if I'm being honest. It's a, it's a very uh, precarious spot, but it's cool. I mean, I respect it. But yeah, this is the uh, main front room right here. Let's uh, keep on digging. All right, let's head inside here now. Another thing Noah mentioned, uh, I didn't see this, but apparently Jamie called this whole uh, woodwork framing around the entire dome house the spider web or something. The spider, the spider web. Really interesting name. But you can see this was probably some sort of kitchen or dining room area. They got a table with a tablecloth. And then of course, it's just a ton of food. You got a lot of canned goods. They got some beef with vegetables, pork and beans. I mean, all the survival shit you see. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people come here at camp. Basically to get here, you have to hike up a mountain. You're in rural upstate Vermont. You gotta hike up here. I'm sure a lot of hikers and backpackers probably live here, if I'm being honest. Got a toilet that says, please do not use unless you plan to bucket flush. Yeah, that makes sense. There's not going to be any drainage or sewer system up here. Very cool stuff. This is so cool. So as I walk around a little, little bit more, I will just reiterate the history of this house. I just want to remind you guys what we got going on here. So Jamie Mansell, he is a very creative guy, a DIY type of guy who likes doing his own things. He likes working with his hands, building stuff. I'm pretty sure uh, one of his main interests is building toys and contraptions. But this entire dome house, he built from scratch, off the grid, by himself. It is a, in every sense of the word, DIY, do-it-yourself house that Jamie Mansell built. And he filmed a lot of that on his YouTube channel. Now, I found it on uh, his YouTube channel as Jamie Stuff. This guy calls it Jamie Builds, but I'll obviously link in the description below what his channel is called, but I'm pretty sure it's called Jamie Stuff. I watched a couple of his videos and they're really interesting. In fact, I'll link a little clip right now to show you guys Jamie himself and what Jamie was doing living at this house when he was filming there. All right, so we're definitely on my property now and that's where we just came from. And if you go up here, I can't see it very well from here, but there's a, a way to get up there with a rope you can hold on to so you don't slip. And then over here, there's the dome up there. And there's the bottom floor, second floor, the third floor, and there's this little room on top. So here's the inside, which is like kind of a total mess. There's all my tools and stuff kind of all over the place. They're going to go up in the tower when I get that done. And here's my long lost 
bicycle thing that has a generator on it that gives me electricity except now it's kind of like buried in tools and this is the third floor which is the trampoline floor and I'll see if I can get some uh, you know just hold on a second let me see if I can stick the camera up. okay it's not super bouncy because it has all this stuff all over it but it's still like a really cool fun place to play and hang out anyway um, yeah, there's not that much more to the third floor. It's just like a big bouncy room. Now, as I mentioned, Jamie built this house in the late 2000s. And 2008 was the very first year that he actually lived here. However, he eventually uh, abandoned it in 2013. Opening up to the public, he revealed the coordinates, he revealed the location, and basically let anyone come here and explore it. So again, this is a public spot. Anyone could come and explore. I just ask that you guys treat it with respect. Damn, what are your impressions so far, dude? This is so cool. I'm amazed. I'm, I'm blown amazed. away. That I really so love the cool. DIY feel. That's the thing I get here. When you're walking through this, you really see, you know, all the, you know, the uh, craftsmanship and um, the rugged feel of it. You know, it's really interesting. Like, yeah, it's not perfect. It's not polished, but that's what I like about it. It's very rugged. It's very, you know, it has that DIY creative feel that you don't just see a lot. Absolutely. in a more populated areas. Wow. I'm sure you guys are probably drawn to the slide, by the way. I mean, check that out. We're definitely gonna be going down that, absolutely. Yeah. We are definitely going down that yeah, slide. I cannot wait. No way, I'm not going down that thing. No, and this guy no, actually no, says, no. holy fucking fast. Is that what it says? Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> Just like Sonic, you gotta go fast. I know, right? <laughs> too fast, too quick. Oh, uh, it's funny, reduced speed ahead. <laughs> also, this is cool. I, I haven't really shown you guys this yet. You get a really nice view outside of the uh, Royalton Woods. Again, we are in the middle of the woods out in Royalton, Vermont. Welcome to my house. I love how it says welcome oh, this to my is, home. Where is it? I'm oh, yeah, the welcome to my home. I love that thing. I'm going to sign your guest book. Yeah, you got to sign, sign it right under my name. Bet. Right under my name, dude. I said, if any of my viewers see it, they gotta let us know. Literally. <laughs> Another thing I wanna show you guys that's pretty cool, check this out. It looks like a lot of people have actually signed their names and stuff here. So let's take a look at these. Help save this place, bring supplies. Steve from Worcester, Massachusetts. Uh, shout out to Steve. Kyle Hunt, 2024. Okay, that's the first 2024 I've seen. I've been seeing a lot of 2023s, to be honest. Not many 2024s. Yeah, another 20, Living Clean 2023. Got a lot of cans and stuff here. 2021. This is crazy. A lot of people come here. Oh, I see another 2024 right there. We can do it on our own. The thing that's really cool about this place too is not only is it open to the public, not only can anyone come here, but this is one of the only abandoned places I've ever explored in my entire life where there appears to be some sense of a friendly community. And I don't say that in a derogatory way. I say that in a way that people who come here clearly have this place's best interest in mind. They want to save this place. They, you know, they want to keep it as a bit of a, a niche hideout for people to come out, maybe camp here overnight, explore, have a good time. That's really cool because a lot of abandoned places you go, they're wrecked, destroyed, neglected, covered in graffiti. You know, people disrespect them. And that's not to say that there's not like debris everywhere in graffiti, but this place almost gives like a very wholesome community feel. I mean, you see it everywhere. Welcome here, be respectful, pick up your trash. I really like that sense of community here. That's probably my favorite thing so far. So one thing that I forgot to mention about this place is that it's a three story tall house. So you can see right here, this is the first floor down below where we started. This is the second floor where we're currently standing. And right above at the top is the third floor. But the interesting thing about the third floor is that it's a trampoline. That's right, the third floor of this building is a trampoline, not even solid wood. Super cool. And that's the highlight of this dome house is the huge trampoline third floor, complete with a slide that brings you down. So sick. So in a second, I'm gonna meet Noah right up there, but um, let's head up, I'm, I'm really excited. Also, I saw this, which was cool. Someone came from Colorado. So shout out to you who came from Colorado. All right, let's head up these uh, stairs right now. I'll meet Noah, who's already up there. And we got to bounce on this trampoline. Noah, how hyped are you to bounce on this trampoline? Dude, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm ready to fall two stories. <laughs> oh my God, same. Also, you guys can see right here, 
This is the uh, well. <laughs> this is the entrance to the slide. So again, we will be going down that as well. I will 100% be going down the slide, but I'll also 100% be going on this trampoline. Here it is, the third floor trampoline. And you can see if this thing breaks, it's a long way down. <laughs> I, so no one I haven't gone on it yet. I don't know how flimsy this thing is, but um. I mean, if so many people over the years have come here and it, this was probably built in the late 2000s and it's still holding up, it must be a very sturdy trampoline. But I'm beyond hyped to start bouncing on this thing. So, Noah, we're gonna take it away. Let's do it. All right, so we just changed camera angles. Now we're gonna hop on this together. This is gonna be the most hyped part of the dome house. All right, the highlights. Three, two, one, go. So yeah, as you guys saw, that trampoline was pretty fucking fun. Um, that was a lot of fun. I mean, this thing is surprisingly sturdy. It looks quite flimsy when you give it a first glance, but this thing held two full grown adults, no problem. There was a bit of creaking wood, which kind of freaked me out a bit, but overall very sturdy trampoline, which is surprising considering how old this thing is, how long it's been sitting here, how many people probably use it. That was mad fun. But we have another fun activity, and that, of course, is this slide. I am hyped to go down this slide. So, of course, we're going to do that right now. I'm going to place my flashlight and show you guys POV style as we go down Jamie Mansell's abandoned blue and yellow slide. You guys ready? Let's do it! Woo! Yo, what's going on, guys? Jamie Mansell. Damn. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, we're going to go down this that thing is insanely fucking fast. Like, if you come here, guys, and you go down the slide, do not underestimate it. Fast as fuck. As Lightning McQueen once said, I am speed. All right, so last but not least for the dome house is this ladder that looks like it heads up to some sort of attic or balcony area at the very top. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna start climbing this uh, admittedly quite precarious ladder that's attached by ropes <laughs> and shaking. Yeah, it's shaking all right. Clearly OSHA approved. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to peer through. Oh, you can totally come up here. I'm going to peer into this little balcony. This is cool. All right. Let's uh, do this. I'm going to turn around. You guys can see, by the way, this thing is fucking wiggling. Look at that. All right, we made it. So this is the very top of the Jamie Mansell Dome House. Noah's actually coming up right now. Good luck, dude. Never go up abandoned ladders, especially yeah. things like this. That thing is there. shaking like a motherfucker. Is... Uh, but anyways, this is the very top of the dome house. Look at this. Super cool. Oh, I see some 2024s. A lot of March 2024. This is cool. So this is a little peer out into the uh, wilderness of Royalton, Vermont. Right here, you got a portion of the dome house itself. It looks like a lot of the dome house, by the way, I forgot to mention this, but it looks like a lot of the dome house was built using sheet metal. Right here, you got sheet metal. I know a lot of DIY structures like this use sheet metal because it's such a, uh, you know, great material. It's cheap, it's easy to use, it's durable. It looks like this dome house uses a lot of sheet metal. Let's, uh, you good, bro? Yeah. Uh, let's peer out over here. Here's another view. Again, peer outside into the beautiful woods some sheet metal, part of the dome house. Um, down there is like a fucking gorge that goes all the way down. We actually have to hike up that. Super cool. So yeah, this is the uh, very top. And then some sort of skylight right here. That was cool, dude. What do you, what do you think so far? Oh, dude, this is wonderful. And that it's, it definitely exceeded my expectations. Absolutely. Same here, bro. This for was sure. amazing. This was such an amazing place. We both wanted to come here for years and we made it. All right, guys, so this dome house was a lot of fun to explore. There were a lot of really cool things to see from the slide 
to the trampoline, to of course the guest book, and all of the many trinkets and artifacts left behind. This was probably, without a doubt, one of the coolest abandoned sites I've ever explored. And I think the thing I really love about it the most, as I mentioned previously, is that there really is a sense of wholesome community over here. People are coming here with respectful intent to have a good time, to preserve it, to keep its legacy running, and I love that. That's really cool. That should be what Urbex is all about. So we are gonna leave the dome house very shortly. There's actually still quite a bit more to see. Um, this isn't it. There are some things down below. We just got a hike back down. Uh, there's a little path over there outside, and um, I'll show you guys that, of course, but I just wanna show you one last view of the downstairs area of the Jamie Mansell Dome House here in Royalton, Vermont. Now, I did mention he left this place in 2013. He publicly released the coordinates, revealed where it is, basically opened it up to anyone to come. However, after he did that, you might be wondering, where did he go next? Because this guy loves living off the grid. He loves doing whatever he wants to do. He's a very free spirit. Well, Jamie Mansell eventually moved to South America. He moved to South America, not sure which country, but he moved to South America to live by the ocean. And uh, he's still uploading content today on his YouTube channel, Jamie Stuff. Again, I'll link that below in the description if you want to see Jamie Stuff. Shout out to you, Jamie. This was really cool. This was a one-of-a-kind experience. And shout out to all of the respectful and kind-hearted urban explorers who come here and make this place such a great experience to visit. I loved it. And again, if you guys come here and you see me and Noah's signatures, let us know. Before we head back down, guys, I did want to show you some uh, more views of the exterior of the dome house before we leave here. Pretty cool stuff. You can actually see it says JME House right out front. And I know I mentioned this earlier, but really love the artwork on this thing. I don't know who painted that, but I almost wonder if uh, Jamie's kids did that. I did mention Jamie lived here with his wife and two children. So I wonder if any of them were the ones who uh, did this painting. Super cool stuff. But you can also see uh, scattered around the dome house is a bunch of uh, miscellaneous debris and trash. Admittedly, not a very clean area. Let's uh, head over here really quick, see what we got going on. Oh, some more flowers. Ladder. And as you go over here, one thing I did notice, there's a trail that heads up here. I scouted it out pretty briefly. Couldn't really find anything super noteworthy, but um, probably just a hiking trail. Again, we are located on a mountain right now. This is up on a mountain in the middle of Vermont. So probably uh, many, many hiking trails. Genuinely a very beautiful area. Like if we're talking nature-wise, scenery, super beautiful area. And then this is another view of the dome house. I don't know, man, such a cool spot. This is just one of the coolest abandoned sites I've been to. It's been on my uh, New England urban exploration bucket list for ages. And the fact that it's open to the public to explore and enjoy is amazing. But yeah, that's really about it for the dome house. We're gonna head down very shortly. There's a couple other structures I wanna see that Jamie also built. And you can see Noah is getting some good shots down there. Woo! Woo! All right, dude, let's head down soon. All right, let's head down. Okay, so Noah and I are back down below in the depths of the woods here in Royalton. And you can see there's still some more stuff to uh, check out, like this massive structure seemingly made out of sheet metal or scrap metal of some kind. I don't really, do you know what this is by any chance? No idea. He told us in the video, Yeah. but I don't remember. He probably explained in one of his videos. I'm sure um, any of the Jamie Mansell fans watching this right now will correct me. Um, in episode 27, he actually said. But um, I'm not sure exactly what this was, but we got some more structures down here that I definitely want to check out. I do think we peered in earlier and there's a bunch of stuff inside. Yeah, check that out. A lot of random debris and trash. Let me actually peer in here. Okay, so for obvious reasons, I will not be going super deep in here. Um, I think that's uh, pretty clear why, but this looks like some sort of dump, to be honest. It looks like a trash can. What's that? A oh, wheelbarrow? A man-made one. Oh, that's sick. Let me check that out. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Oh, you know what this is? What? I remember now. It's the workshop. Oh, the workshop. Yeah. I thought. I honestly thought it was like a dump. <laughs> There's so much stuff inside. Yeah, this thing is uh, completely packed and littered with stuff. I'm just going to peer in here really quick. Okay, yeah. So this, I, as Noah said, this was probably the guy's workshop. And you can kind of see that right there. It definitely looks like a workshop. Actually, this even looks like a garage door. This might have been a garage at one point. 
yeah, I think this might have been, or it might have opened like a garage is what I'm trying to say. But man, this is filled with so much stuff. I honestly don't feel super comfortable going deep in there, but as you guys see, packed to the brim. I think there's a metal detector or something down here. Up here one more time. Oh yeah, there is. No, actually, no, that's not a metal detector. That's a weed whacker. Weed whacker, okay. Yep, it's a weed whacker. Weed whacker. Yeah, there's a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. I see like a baby's crib. I see a chair. I see a bookshelf. Tons of styrofoam bins. I mean, this is mostly junk, but cool stuff. As much as I have loved this abandoned exploration and I've loved this place, I will say the only thing I'm personally not a fan of is all of the trash and debris littered around on the woods like this. Not a fan of littering or pollution. Unfortunately, you do see a lot of that in the woods here. I'm not blaming Jamie, by the way, at all. It's probably just the urban explorers who do come here and are a little more reckless. So I'm not a fan of that. That's the only thing. These pristine um, woods are completely covered, but anyways. A lot of debris everywhere is my point. <laughs> you see some more sheet metal right here. What's uh, up here and here? I'm pretty sure you can peer through. Um, Jacob and I think it's a well. Yeah, that dome, right? Yep, that dome. I'm not too sure if I caught on video earlier. Yeah, I'll have to check that out. Yeah. Check out these beautiful conditions we got while walking through. We got sheet metal bridges, deep mud. I mean, this is what it's like hiking through Vermont in the middle of the rain. You just get muddy, dirty conditions. And then this is what Noah was talking about, this weird dome structure. So I remember watching one of Jamie's videos where he went inside here. And if I recall correctly from that video, I'll obviously um, edit below if that's true. But if I recall correctly, this was a groundwater well where he basically got water. Because obviously if you're living self-sufficiently off the grid by yourself, your number one priority is a good source of water, and I do believe this was a groundwater well. So let's uh, fact check that right now, see if I was right. Let's peer inside. Yep, this was totally a well. And I do remember a video of him going in here showing, showcasing it. I think it was actually the last video where he has, um, you know, released this place. Yeah, guys, check this out. This is the well where Jamie and his family got their... Uh, Got their water, their drinking water. Maybe also their water to bathe and shower. Oh, we forgot to check out the shower. Oh, we missed it? Yeah, we missed the shower. There's a shower right there. Oh, I, I thought we saw every single floor room. I did not see a shower. I, well, we did walk in the bathroom, so. Right, but you know what? I well, think we saw it. I think yeah, we just didn't point it out. I think where that crib was, was where the shower was. Yeah, I agree. So we didn't see it. So yeah, this is the dome structure itself. Pretty cool structure. Um, looks like it might be made out of, yeah, you got steel support, probably made out of concrete and steel. Uh, but yeah, this is the dome structure. Again, definitely a groundwater well for drinking, bathing, showering, all that stuff. Surprisingly, no frogs in here. <laughs> I've seen a lot of frogs while hiking today, but none in here, which is shocking. And then you got these little windows you can peer out into the beautiful wilderness. Super cool stuff. So yeah, guys, that's really about it for this property. And there's a lot of cool stuff we saw today. Of course, we got this uh, groundwater well dome structure. You walk down here, you get his uh, interesting workshop slash garage slash dump site for miscellaneous debris. Of course, stuff scattered everywhere. But the highlight for me way up there was the dome house. You can actually sort of see it over there. That's the dome house. That dome house was really cool, been on my bucket list for ages, and I finally saw it. So yeah, this was the Jamie Mansell dome house here in Royalton, Vermont. One of the coolest abandoned places I've ever explored. But we pretty much saw everything. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a great time checking this place out. And I do have to say, this would be a really cool place to camp. <laughs> Maybe I'll come back here someday and go camping. Who knows? I would definitely be down to come back here and return. This was a cool spot. I loved it. Hey, thank you guys for joining me. I've been Jay Mass as always, and this has been another dope New England adventure. And today we checked out one of the coolest abandoned sites I'd been in months. I'd want to go here for a long time. And although it was a pretty rainy and wet day today, still worthwhile. We saw a lot of cool stuff. The Jamie Mansell Dome House here in Royalton, Vermont was an absolute blast to explore. I had a great time. I hope you guys had a great time watching. As I mentioned earlier, Jamie Mansell was a YouTuber who actually 
established this house and lived here with his wife and two children starting in the late 2000s up until 2013 when he basically revealed it to the public, let them take over. He moved to South America where I believe he currently lives. And ever since then, this dome house and all the other things around it, like this uh, well right here, have just been sitting in the woods. Really cool place. It was cool to, as a YouTuber to explore another YouTuber's abandoned site that's like uh, paradoxical in a way. But that was really cool to check out. And I do just want to thank Noah Faraday for joining me on this exploration. Again, our third collaboration. This was a really cool one. Uh, what did you think about it? I, I freaking loved it to death. This is one of my favorite abandoned spots. And my mm -hmm. first abandoned spot in Vermont. Yeah, that's true. His very first Vermont abandoned spot. I got to say, Vermont, you guys really punch above your weight in terms of abandoned sites. Love this state. Love this place. And I love Noah Faraday for joining me. Definitely check out his YouTube, his Instagram, TikTok, at Noah Faraday. He's always posting stuff there from paranormal investigations to urban exploration. And shout out to Jamie Mansell. Thank you for building this place. It was really cool. But I catch you guys in the next one. I've been JMS as always. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram at JMS Official. That's at JMS Official. Catch you guys in the next one. See ya. See ya.